Hey, my lovely Cancers, this is Tara Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit. Welcome to my channel. So excited for you guys to be here. And this right here is going to be how your partner views um, you, uh, what's their intentions, how they feel, and what is their next move is what we're going to go through for this week, beginning on October the 19th here. And starting out, we're going to look at your partners in, I'm sorry, how do they actually view you, uh, them towards you at the moment? And it seems like they may be a little bit unhappy with you. I feel like that somebody in this connection here, you know, you could be the, the queen of wands that's here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But there is definitely, you see all this fire that's here? There was definitely like a fiery type of situation with this devil. See all this red, the queen of wands, and then the four of wands in reverse here. So there was definitely a fiery, hot, steaming kind of like night situation or someone loins was lusting uh, for some attention and desire from you. And it seems like it didn't go down. So them towards you right now is they seem to be a little bit unhappy with something that was like canceled, something that didn't go down, whether or not it was a trip, whether or not it was, you know, the actual act of sex um, or hanging out or something that they were very excited for, very hopeful for. Um, and it's like they're they're trying not to be like jealous or something about the situation or act out towards the situation but there does seem to be an array of like unhappiness uncertainty that's here with your partner towards you at the current moment cancer so what's their intentions right now um you could also be dealing with a earth sign most importantly a taurus I feel like your their intention is is to like get you back so if I didn't get what I want, then you're not going to get what you want. It's kind of like what I'm getting here. I'm not going to fulfill your wish if you're not fulfilling my wishes. And this could be, you know, them projecting back off onto you, right? Um, there's definitely also seems to be a change in a perspective that was here. It was like, you know, I honestly, to be honest with you, Cancers, I just feel like that their intentions right now is to create space in between you guys to kind of break free of what they may have considered to be ties or chains to this situation because they didn't get what they wanted. They are acting like brats here. It's, it's like a, you know, a pouting type of situation, a again I didn't get sex that's hugely of what I'm getting like you know you turned me down for sex when I really really wanted it so now you know what I don't even care no more I'm just gonna do whatever it is that I want to do and just act a fucking fool literally he looks like he's acting a fool I'm just saying so I just feel as though that it's going to turn you off <laughs> when they start acting like this. And then you may end up starting going to go do like your own little thing or whatever. Um, as far as their feelings towards you, this is this is extreme because it, it seems as though they felt as though they wanted to move fast with you. And I feel like that you that wasn't like whatever it was that they was offering with this four of cups here. And I feel like the, what they was offering was some type of fast movement situation or a long distance relationship. And you kind of was like, uh, I don't know if that's really how I feel because, you know, I may like you and all, but I may not be ready to do to go that fast with you or to do whatever it is that you're trying to get me to do here. Um, it don't necessarily just have to be about sex. Like, you know, I don't know why, but I'm like... <laughs> need to stop watching movies because I'm all like about like were they trying to ask you to do something that you consider to be a scam or something and you're like I'm not about to go open up no bank account in my name for you to funnel money through um, or open up an unemployment you know case or something like it could have been something that not necessarily had to be with had to do with just sex but something that it felt it it fades their negative side like they were trying to be controlling um 
or, or get you to do something that just went against what you felt comfortable with and it don't necessarily just have to be sex. So their feelings is, you know, really kind of upset that you kind of stood in your strength and your power and told them no. The full energy is at the bottom of the deck. So it's a lot of joker playing around kind of like energy that's here, a lot of playfulness that's here um, as well, like juggling things around you know, wanting you to take a leap of faith and you just like, well, before I take the leap of faith, I at least need to see a corner of the net, like, or something like, I don't know you to be jumping off this cliff with you. <laughs> um, when I look at their next move, when it comes to you, we have the death that shows here. The death card is here. The empress card is here. And then the star is in reverse, right? I feel like that they are, again, the Empress is all about sex. Well, it's not all about sex, but it's, it's about sex in abundance here. So if they did not try to get you, if they're not upset about you not giving them sex, they may be upset about you giving them money or not, again, going along with some type of scam or something that you didn't feel comfortable with. Um, and so they are all like, it's time to sever ties with this person. Um, because they didn't do what I wanted them to do with this star that's in reverse. They didn't give me the empress. They didn't give me the abundance. They didn't give me, you know, the open key of what she looks like. She has like an open key, um, which, I, you know, this is the feminine sign um, to her garden. And so that unlocks that unlocks all of the zodiacs that's here. So because she didn't you didn't give that to them, it's like. They're now like their next move is to dead this whole situation like, oh, it's done. I'm not I'm not messing with this person no more or whatever, which probably is good for you. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde. Stay in your ground. Um, this could possibly be a miscommunication that ends up getting fixed between you and the person. But right now, it seems like, like this person is on some shady boots type of situation or they're acting outside of their normal character. This this is the person that you generally, you know, have like some type of history with. It's like, like this person is, is, you know, they either are hanging around the wrong people and it's influencing them the wrong way or something of the sort. And they just come at you with some foolishness is what I'm getting. Earth sign. So you could definitely, again, be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, definitely. Definitely seeing some type of like cheating. This doesn't have to necessarily mean like with another person, but it could like be like them trying to cheat you out of something because they are materialistic. Um, and then maybe even trying to offer you some type of like marriage, like, you know, oh, you're not going to do this for me. But I, that's why I was over here hesitant to marry you anyway. It's because now now I see you won't you won't go and sign for me a car like I need to sign for you a car in order for you to marry me. Like, uh, no, <laughs> Fred, Fred Flintstone, use them. OK, wondering. I is also here that goes with the, the cheating thing as well. Um, so, and again, it doesn't necessarily just have to be a, a third party. I think that the wondering eye is, it's like this person could just be desperate and they're looking for different opportunities to try to like get money coming into like this holiday season or someone has made them think like scamming is so easy and they're trying to be Joanne the scammer right now and for Halloween and they are upset. That you don't want to play along with them. Let's see. Messages from the lover to you. I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. So I definitely feel like whatever um, we both know that I am not the one for you is at the bottom. Um, so there is some type of spiritual lesson that this person is going to learn because I feel like they are going beyond themselves. It's, it's just the way that I feel like, you know, they are in survival mode and it's 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 like they're doing crackhead stuff a crack ish stuff <laughs> um which is crazy but they're going to end up you know learning a lesson from this situation 
sweetness patience is now re required relax enjoy sweetness of life let the universe take care of the details so again don't you be concerned about this because the universe um is going to teach this person a spiritual lesson you just gotta just not let yourself get so wrapped up in the fact that this person is choosing to walk away from you or at least trying to make you think that they are trying to walk away from you fuck them people is what I like to say. You don't have to say it. I'm just going to say it for you. Uh, fuck the people. So this person will be back when they are ready to. Whether or not you will want to take them back is completely up to you. But right now, it just seems like they are on some foolery, fuckery, foolishness. And it's, it's an issue. So let them do their thing. Let them figure it out. Don't you be a fixer this week. You know, and let's just come back next week and we can see if next week looks a little bit better, um, for some odd reason, I just feel very compelled to tell somebody that don't worry about this fool. Literally, I'm calling them the fool because they're the fool energy up under here because you're going to have someone that's going to be better. This is a newer connection. Whomever that um, these, this reading is for, this seems definitely like this was about somebody with a newer connection with somebody and not somebody that, that's been, you know, quote unquote, like stable with somebody you know what i'm saying i'm making sense i hope i am because you can always leave me a comment and let me know do it did you get me or did you get me you know what i'm saying so as always i appreciate you for tuning into my channel cancer i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe to me to my channel or follow me online on me on instagram why am i twisting my words I'm probably picking up their energy of being a charlatan myself. And it's like, I can't get my words right because it's like, I'm telling the truth, but am I lying? No, I'm not lying. Follow me on Instagram at Flirty Savage Spirit. And I will see you guys next time.